It is very subtle, you understand the spiritual ego. It creeps on you, you don't even understand when it is there. You're in a group of people who are talking about jewelry and clothes and cars and status. And you are like, I don't discuss these things. It is a fact. You don't discuss these things, but it is also ego. Subtle creeping up of that ego. So it takes real practice experiencing to be the zero state. I'm nothing. Every day I have to be in that state. And unless you really can fall into that state where you are zero, where you are not lashing at everyone out of ego, because maximum number of fights, it's always an ego fight. Without ego, fights are generally not there. Your child is answering back to you. You don't even look to understand is the child saying the truth or not the truth. It is your parental ego that's hurt. How dare the child reply back to me? If the child is pushing your buttons, really putting, making you feel like an inferior being, if you really love yourself, if you really honor yourself, does the opinion of that person matter? If the opinion of that person matters, you haven't worked on self-love. You understand how self-love is related to ego? These are subtle boundaries, but these are all related. You cannot be one without the other. It is a little confusing also, I understand, Arjuna, you're getting confused, but it is, it is like this only. You have to be very subtle. Where am I replying to this person out of ego? Am I really wanting to put, tell my child that he should not behave in this way? Or is it my ego that is hurt? If you're talking to the child, telling that child that this is something they should not be doing, your tone will be different from the tone you are using when you are reacting out of ego. And sometimes you just need to stop talking to someone when they are in ego. Not even to explain to someone. Because even sometimes explaining is nurturing your ego. Suppose you have a very bad boss who is always putting you down. You know that person is not worthy to put you down. You are a much superior being that from that person in every way. In your work, in your principles, in your qualities, in your home life, you are a much superior being. But that person is always putting you down. This happened with me and one of my friends explained it to me. And I was trying, always trying to explain to that person what I am doing right. And she came to me and told me, my friend, don't justify yourself. You need to justify yourself to this person. And that minute it changed me because yes, somewhere justifying myself is also nurturing my ego. Somewhere trying to explain to this person that I am not what you are saying is also nurturing our ego. It is a very subtle line. You will say that I'm defending myself, but why are you defending my yourself? Somewhere you want the goodwill, somewhere you want the praise, somewhere you want to be proved good. But when someone is screaming at you and you are not reacting in any manner, and you're not getting disturbed inside also, that is where you're mastered ego. And that is quite tough. 